Oh. Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's which is on The Night Bus from 2011. Or otherwise, second version of which. So on the, on the front of the band, you'll see a picture of The Night Bus traveling through the streets of London, and you see the logos and that border used for the 2010-11 waves, and Set number 4866 on the back, when on the online survey. And then add a Lego club and add for the years 5 through 7 game. And add for most of the other sets from the time, as well as the board game set as well. And the pieces that come with the set, of course. So then the last steps. So first off for the main thing. So first off we have Harry Potter in his uh, blue jacket of which like we've also seen in the Burrow set in, of this time of which. But hair piece and face print, same as in most other sets and also, the regular leg pieces instead of the mid legs, obviously. And then also get Mr. Stan Sean Pike, which kind of similar to his 2004 version, of which, of which with his ticket press thing on his front torso printing, and not only leg printing, and of course, classic cop piece in or cop hat piece in purple, obviously. And also, he had. Ernie Prang, first version of that, but also a little different than the 2019 version, which, as the course, has the Widow's Peak hairpiece, like we've seen with Clone Wars, Count Dooku, and uh, Joker as well. But of course, this was one of the last times of using that, and of course, the 20, 20, 2019 version could be better, of course, and not only like printing, but that's alright. And if look from the backs of it, then as you can see, Harry's does have a double side face of it. Oh, whoops. Not only for Ernie Prang, or, and Stan Shunpike doesn't have that. Although he still needs to have his, uh, like, odd red hair, obviously, which is accurate to him, of course. Which I hope they get on top of that for another version in the future. Like for a minifig series or whatever. But yeah. And now on to the night bus itself. Well, the overall look of which pretty much kind of about the same are quite similar to the 2004 version, but with a few slight modifications here and there, obviously. Like, as you see, also lot, plenty of purple as well, also like the other two versions. But, and also, as for the exterior, which, like, the, the main bus part of it, which has this sign and says Night Bus on it, and of course, good build for the, this old style design to it of course and also if I zoom in here we get of course a shrunken headpiece on a cylinder which unlike in the 2019 version uh, which is on a regular minifig head but at least I think this switch probably rightful to it although I th what I think is should have had some uh, more printing on the back of it as well to represent its dreaded hair uh, of course and also, not sure why it's on that, but instead of being hung up to there. Or, but yeah. And also, do get these couple of wheel, well, the traditional wheel pieces, also like the other versions did. And from the back part of which, do have the like hopping onto kind of area. 
with this pole here for Stan Shun Pike to hold on to and also get one of them click pieces but with a red stud on it to be a tail light. Although I think could have like had a second one of it to add on as well, make it perfect symmetrical, but or whatever. And on one side of which is which an empty spot enough to fit put your Ernie Prank thing in, or fit into of course. And just like and also and so now oh it's just like the other versions where you can detach the three flooring force of it, of course. So this bottom area, which see, it does move around, of course, and but also do get a kind of good, all right, build for the bed section, which is just a plate with that piece on it. But at least, unlike in the 2019 version, it does have blankets and all built onto it, of course. And then second floor, which little hollow space for the chandelier to dangle out down into. And of course, do have an extra seat there, and also white owl piece for head wig, obviously. And that's for this little uh, treasure chest piece, of course, which you can pull open, and a few couple tiles with the socks all printed on to them. Quite interesting, and of course, do get enough space in that to, to put in. And last of which is the top floor piece. Oh, also this roof part also comes off in two sections. So, but the middle part is kind of stationed in for it. And of course, this chandelier does spin or swing freely, of course, and, and again, an extra seat and that. To of course fit another Vic into. Uh, even though the uh, 2019 version did kind of fix that a bit with the whole roof that comes off, also like the 2004 version. You can stack them onto it with a few studs like so. Also, let's see. Yeah, not at all any friction with the wheel, so it can spin freely and go how fast you want it to be. So for the final verdict is so overall, I think this is which a pretty good version of the night bus. So, whoops. And even though Stan Shunpike could have had some extra bit, could have had hair onto it, but maybe that would have been a little too much for 2011 standards, but although that can work out in like a minifig series or whatever, but also, although the design of which is a little quite similar to the 20, 2004 versions, but at least the 2019 version did quite better and all, but at least I can kind of forgive how this one is, but also, still do wish that the shrunken headpiece was on the top, was hung down instead of on the cap and, or on the dashboard, of course. But although you can kind of modify it to do that, but yeah. And uh, also interesting that the other two didn't have any little things off to the side like the 2004 versions, but at least that's okay too, but yeah. And so now if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say go ahead and get it. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.